Hi students, I've got another great song um, for us to learn together today. Um, it's going to be challenging, it's a German song, um, but don't let that put you off. I'm going to give you really easy phonetics, so that's how it sounds, um, that you can write into your copy. Um, and you'll be up and running in no time at all. Um, it's a beautiful song. It was believed to be composed by Bach and was thought to be a church song um, for many years until it actually was discovered that it's not by Bach at all. It's by a composer called Heinrich Stilzel and it was actually from an opera. Um, so the text works for both a secular or a sacred setting um, and it's actually one of the most recommended, um, the most often um, I'm asked to do this song is very very often is what I'm trying to say getting my words all in a model today so this is Beast Du bei mir by Heinrich Stilzel and we're going to do text first now you'll need to get yourself a really sharp pencil because you're going to need to write your text in on your copy free PDFs available freely online and I've chosen to do this in the key of G today, which is a nice middle of the road kind of key. It's not too high. Again, um, commonly it's available in E flat, which is a little bit um, too high for some people. Um, so we'll stick with G and you'll be able to find lots of um, copies in G available online and also backing tracks available online when you're ready to start practicing it with the backing track. So with your pencil, um, what I've done is I've started counting bar numbers so we can refer to, to bar numbers together. So the first bar that you sing in will be your bar one. The copy that you have may have an introduction, so ignore the introduction and make bar one the first bar that you sing. Um, so the first section um, goes from bars one to nine and the text goes like this. Beast do by mir. So beast is like a beast, an animal. Do, D double O, buy, B U Y, like to buy something. Mir, I write as M E A R, and it rhymes with mir, how we say the word mir. So beast do by mir. Next text, gay. Ich meet Freuden. So this one is a little more complicated. Gay is like the word gay, but we don't put the y on the end. So gay, it's a very, um, it doesn't have a, a diphthong at the end. It's just one vowel sound. Gay. Ich. So E-E-C-H. Now the C-H, if you Sandwich your tongue between your top and bottom teeth and then hiss like a cat. That will give you the sound that you need for a nice German ich sound for when you're singing. Ge, ich, meet, Freuden. So meet is like meet, M-E-A-T. Freuden. F-R-O-Y-D-U-N. Freuden. Uh, uh, uh. It's um, what we call the schwa vowel. And it's, a, it's like U-H. Um, so when you have E-N in German, it's this schwa vowel, which is a, uh, so Freuden. So all together, Beast du bei mir ge ich mit Freuden. Um, now I'm in bar five. Zum sterben und zu meiner Ruhe. So the Z becomes a T-S, T-S-O-O-M, T -S -O -O -M. Sterben. So Ster is like S-H-T-A-I-R, Sterben. Again, it's that schwa sound, a uh, bun. Und, O-O-N-T, Tsu, T-S-O-O, Meine, Mine, M-I-N-E, like something that belongs to me, Mine, a. Uh the schwa at the end, minor ru, r-o-o, ru. Now if you can flick your r, 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 just one flick, that's going to be perfect. If you can't do that, it doesn't matter. And then that little bit of text repeats again to take us up to bar nine. So that's our first section of text. 
Now what I'm going to do is say it to the rhythm and then we're going to start singing it. So this is the plan. Um, first of all, we are in three, four times. So there's a constant pulse of one, two, three, one, two, three. So this is our text with that pulse going. One, two, three. Beast do by me. Geh mit Freuden zum Sterben und zu meiner Ruhe zu um Sterben und zu meiner Ruhe. So now let's have a go at singing some of this. So. Our first phrase. Bist du bei mir? And we're going to put the little flicked R uh, on the third beat. Mir. Right there. Let's do that again. One, two, three. Bist du bei mir? And you'll notice, well, I hope you'll notice if I'm doing my diction well enough. You should hear the ter of beast and the de of du. Beast du. So it's a change from the t to the d. It's quite a big um, change. You have to work your diction and your lips and your tongue very hard. One more go. One, breathe, three. Beast du bei mir. That one again. One, two, three. Geh mit Freuden. So geh ich mit Freuden. And we want to make everything all joined together and really, really legato. So nice long vowel sounds. Geh mit Freuden. I'm going to put those two together now. One, Breathe three. Beast du bei mir. Geh ich mit Freuden. Then the next bit. Zum Sterben und zu meiner Ru. I'm just over articulating it so that you can hear where I move. Um, across two notes on one vowel sound. So sung, it sounds like this. Zum Sterben und zu meiner Ruhe. And again. Zum Sterben und zu meiner Ruhe. Now, with this one you have und zu. Now, if you can do und zu <laughs> in the space that you have, that's great. If you can't quite manage it, it's fine. Und zu will be absolutely fine. Um, it happens so quickly, it's almost inaudible anyway. Zum Sterben und zu meiner Ruhe. Then the next bit. Zu um sterben und zu meiner Ruhe. One. Zu um sterben und zu meiner Ruhe. And again. Two, three, one. Zu um sterben und zu meiner Ruhe. And again, you'll hear that I'm giving my Riz a little flick. Sterben. Und zu meiner Ruhe. R, r, r. If you can give it a little flick, that's going to be great. I'm going to sing that whole section again now. Um, and normally, it might may or may not say this in your copy, normally that whole section repeats. So you sing that copy twice, uh, that, that part of the, your copy, bars one to nine, twice through. Um, 
and with different dynamics. So normally you would start the first version really quite loud, maybe mezzo forte, and then when you repeat it, you might go for a much quieter, more contemplative version. I've just realized that I haven't told you what the translation is. Oh, so if you are with me, then I will go gladly to my rest is the premise of the song. Um, so basically it's about having, if, if you're looking at it from a secular point of view, um, it's about having somebody um, in your life with you um, right until the very end and the comfort that you find in that. Um, or if you want to look at it from a religious perspective, which is perfectly applicable in, with this song, um, it's thinking about having Jesus with you in your life right until the very end. Um, so it's a really, really beautiful, beautiful um, affirmation of faith um, if you want to sing this one in church. Um, so here we go. I'm going to sing that whole section now. Bars one to nine. One, two, three. Is to my So that's great, you don't have a new text to learn, it's all the same text, but a new tune, a new piece of the tune. So we have... So the second part of that... This is still quite a high note. So pitch the G on the note and then open your mouth nice and wide into that relaxed north-south orientation. Try not to go because that will produce that hard tight sound. So it's all about keeping your jaw really, really relaxed. Pitch the G on the note and then open nice and wide. One more time. Next phrase. And again, this one's a bit runnier and you just need to focus on making it beautiful and smooth, elongate those vowels. So rhythmically, if you're struggling with that one, just break it down. So you've got two notes on the sterben, ster syllable, two notes on bun. Sung again sounds like this. And one. Then we continue. You take a breath at that point. I haven't talked about breaths. We'll put those in in a second. Take a breath after. In bar 16. And then we finish this section. from bar 14 so I'll put those two last phrases that we've just done together we've got 
are largely um, dictated by the rests at the very beginning. I'm just going to cover that first section again and call out where the breaths are and then I'll go into the second section so you'll be able to sing the whole of the first section um, with the repeats and then the second section which is bar nine onwards so you'll be able to sing both of those sections with me. So here we go. Mezzo forte, nice and loud and confident. One, breathe, three. Is to my section just feels like it needs to be much more loud again after the repeat that you've done piano um, much more loud and much more joyful now we have a new section of melody and text so this is ach wie vergnügt so this is bar 19 now ach so it's that like a cat hissing so ah like car ach and then the cat hissing sound I write that as S in brackets and then CH and I sometimes draw some cat's whiskers over the top just to remind me that it's the cat hissing sound. Ach, V, so a W is a V sound. Vergnügt, vergnügt, the V is now an F sound. Fair like F-A-I-R. Gnügt is a funny one, G-N, gnügt. Um, just if you think um, G N E R G T, if you imagine there's an R in the middle of there but you don't actually say it, gnügt, gnügt will give you the right sound. Ach, wie vergnügt. Next word is wer, wer. So it's with a V sound, V A I R, wer. So, the S is a Z, so, mine, M-I-N-E, ende, ende, so it's like the word end, it is actually the word end, ende with that schwa sound, the ö uh sound at the end. Ach, wie vergnügt, wer so mein ende. New tune sounds like this. Two, three. Ach, wie vergnügt, wer so mein Ende. I'll break that down for you again. First phrase, one, two. Ach, wie vergnügt. Now again, the ach is quite high. You don't have a consonant. It starts with the vowel, so... Open your mouth nice and wide and as you breathe in, breathe the note in, raise your soft palate right up. And the kt goes on the third beat. Once more. Two. Just do 
that one more time. Once more those two phrases together. Remember to open nice and wide for the ah. One, two. runny passage here. Now it's the same sort of pattern as you had before with zum Sterben. Uh, the direction of travel is the same but you've got some new text so I'll, I'll over articulate it so that you can hear where you need to um, change notes but stay on the same syllable. So es drückte en deine schöne en hende. So drückte you have two notes for one syllable each. Then diner is a syllable each per note. Again, you've got two syllables, um, one syllable for two notes. And the same with end. So slowly just say it. One. S. And deine schöne and and sung and one. go from Ach wie vergnügt now which is bar 19 and we'll put those three phrases together. your breath after hinder. I'll just sing it one time and then say it over articulated again. One, two. Played a wrong note, sorry, but um, if I say it now for you. One, two. Mi ihr die getreuen Augen zu. Mi ihr, that's the past one. One, two. Mi ihr die getreuen Augen zu. And then it's the die getreuen Augen zu. It's very wordy, but at least it's just one syllable per note there. I'll sing that for you. One, two. Mi and again, one, two. So from Ach wie vergnügt, I'll put all of that together for you now. another section. You've got another um, repetition of the same text but a development of the tune again. So we'll continue from bar 28. 
So this is our um, penultimate section. Actually, we're, we're getting through it very quickly. Um, so you've got the same words, ach wie vergnügt, wer so mein Ende, um, which means how pleasing it would be um, to reach my end. Es drückten deine schönen Hände, if your dear hands mir die getreuen Augen zu were to close my faithful eyes. Um, so it's, a, it's such a beautiful, beautiful text. Um, Ach wie vergnügt, this is bar 28. Slightly awkward interval there, this might need a little bit of practice. One, two, three. Ach wie vergnügt. And again, one, two, three. Ach wie that second phrase again. Together, two, three. Runny tune again, same pattern as before. Again, I'll speak it and over articulate. And again, spoken one. Es drückte an deine schöne Hände. Sung and one. Es drückte an deine schöne Hände. And again, one. Es drückte an deine schöne Hände. So spoken, that's the same as it was the last time. Mi getroyen Augen zu. So different tune, but the same words and the same rhythm. Mi getroyen Augen zu. I'll sing it again for you. One. Mi getroyen Augen zu. And again, and we're going to do a big crescendo on the tsu when we get to it. One, two. And you'll see why in a second, because we are approaching our final section, which is great. I am going to go now from bar 19 and sing all of that, um, the two Achvifegnut sections for you. One, two. some tune that you'll recognize and you've got the first chunk of text that you'll recognize. So from here on to the very end it's going to get much easier, I promise. Um, something that I should have said was 
when I'm demonstrating, when I'm teaching these songs, um, I'm obviously making my breaths a little bit louder than I normally would, just so that the microphone picks them up and you can hear where I'm taking the breaths, because sometimes I can't say breathe while I'm actually singing the phrase. So it's just a louder breath than I normally would. And the other thing I was going to say is while we're just resting our brains for a second it's really really helpful for me if you can just take a second to subscribe to the channel and like if you like it and share with your other singer friends um, it's all about getting um, the joy of singing out there um, and if you click the notifications option um, you'll be first to know when I release something new um, and I've got quite a few things in the pipeline that I'm really excited to share with you. So here we go. This is our last section now. So this is bar 37. And it goes like this. One, two. These two by me. And again, one, two. on the note, yawn the breath in beforehand to get the space prepared. with the same arrangement of syllables and notes zum erbe and und zu ma eine ru I should imagine you're getting really expert at this now and sung zum erbe und zu ma eine ru one more time one zum erbe und zu ma eine breath going to be a pause on that last note so a pause is marked with what looks like an eyebrow and a dot in the middle that tells us partly tells us that it's at the end that you've reached the end and before you have a pause you generally slow down into that pause now I would just be really careful with your breath management here if you slow down too soon there's a real danger that you'll run out of breath before the the end of the the last note which would be a real shame so I would just be careful that I don't writ until the word minor so this is the writ in the place that I think is the safest place if you're going to be singing this anytime soon so If you're managing your breath really really well and you want to do your writ your slow down into that pause a little bit earlier then you can do but it will just be a case of maybe what your backing track um, is like unless you have your own accompanist which is always great because they'll follow you um, so maybe practice both ways practice with the leaving the writ very late till minor or you could practice this way one so was a much longer writ um, and will work if you've got plenty of breath and if you're managing your breath really if you find that really easy so what we're going to do now is we're going to finish that last section so I'm going to sing that one more time what I'll do is I'll go in from the mere Diga Troyan Algen Su so you can see it with that big crescendo that we did so this is starting from the end of bar 34 and then 
the very final section. So we've got one, two. Mir die treuen Augen zu. phonetics. It's very, very beautiful and um, very suitable for a church service um, or any other setting. Um, I'll sing the whole thing for you with the repeat at the beginning um, and I hope you'll sing along with me. enjoyed the whole video um, I'd love to hear your comments I always enjoy hearing from you and um, I like replying to you so if you've got any um, comments or things that you'd like me to cover I'm always happy to consider all the options so if there's something new out there that maybe I haven't done so far that you're really keen to sing at church or anywhere else don't be shy about dropping me a note in the comments um, as always, please like and subscribe and share and hit that notifications button um, and enjoy your singing and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>